What's going on, guys? Train Tobes here with you. All right, so you guys will see a bunch of videos coming out here, probably pretty quick. Some I recorded actually a little while ago that are recorded after this one, but I'm gonna put this one out there first. Um, so we're gonna open 151 today. All right, guys. So you guys saw my Ultra Box video where I felt things were a little bit like under. Like the packs, like I should have gotten more. I felt like that was a little light. Um, so Noah reached out to me actually an email after I I had emailed them, and he also I believe then found my video. So he knows I believe who I am. Um, I'm pretty sure like through my email and everything, and this channel. So first off, what I first thing I want to say is, um, so Noah is. I know it's pretty much a two-man job. I think he's like the owner owner of it. So of Poke Power Box. So he's a great guy. Um I think he puts together a good product for the most part. Pichot, Tentacruel, and a Kangaskani X. Um so in March they did this customer appreciation where every box was 50% off. I opened quite a few boxes with that. I'm sure you guys remember that. Um, right at the end of March they sent out an email saying they were going to improve the boxes. They were going to add more packs, better packs. So I took that as more packs and better packs, not necessarily one or the other. Um, so, I personally feel that they were going to add just more, ditto, I just grabbed everything. <laughs> um, they were going to, like, just put more packs on there, and maybe, I didn't really think much was going to change other than maybe get a few more packs. That's what I thought was going to happen. Um... So like I said, I got a total of nine packs if you include the mini tin in there. But I feel like I've gotten nine packs before. I've gotten the same amount plus the mini tin. Um, and they do guarantee a vintage... Is it a vintage hollow now? I believe it's a vintage hollow now. Um, which is awesome. You know, some cards could be worth money. I don't know all everything they're going to get in there. But I just wanted to say I wasn't trying to bash Pokepower Box themselves or anything like that. I just felt... When you're paying $169, if you do the subscribe, I feel like you could probably get some more value in there. Don't get me wrong. I don't know how much they pay for everything. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. You know, I'm not there. Um, but for instance, $169 can get you a modern booster box easily plus some. Um, you can also buy most vintage packs other than the big ones, which you don't know what vintage packs they're offering in there. Um, I've never gotten one. I've seen some open before. But, and I don't think they um, are scamming people or anything like that. I'm not saying that once again. I just think that if you're going to spend that kind of money, you could just buy a vintage pack. Because most people, the chase is for the vintage pack. Um, and don't get me wrong, you have to then... I expect you to get undervalued. I, so for me, $169, um, especially if you include free shipping. So $169, I would expect a minimum of $100 in product. So for me, like that Meganium card is in near mint a twenty dollar card. I looked it up. It was not near mint. Um, it would probably grade somewhere around. Ooh, we get the Pikachu. I do like this card. It would probably grade in the low six range, six ish range, maybe seven. Would be what that grade would be, which would put it still at a twenty dollar card. But then you have to pay the fee on it. So to me, simply put, twenty dollar card with the packs I got. So Cosmic Eclipse Pack, Cosmic Eclipse Pack, goes for roughly 
just depends where you go. Fifteen dollars to twenty dollars right now. Um, then you include all the other packs, unified minds, all that. I think I was roughly. I did do the. I did the rough estimation. I think I was roughly right around eighty dollars, which isn't a horrible value. Um, but what? So where I'm kind of going with this is what I would. I don't actually care if they added more modern packs into them. So keep what you got. Throw three more modern packs. That would cost you nine, ten dollars total out of edition. Um, the more packs are four more, which would be somewhere around the fifteen dollar range, depending on what you get. Like that'd be fine. Um, I just personally felt that with the email they sent out, it was underwhelming. Now, if they wouldn't have sent out that email. I probably wouldn't have thought much of it, actually. It's only because I was remembering that email. I probably was like, okay, that's relatively fair of what I think I've gotten in the past. Maybe a little light, but I got a vintage holo, so... Yeah, wasn't really a big deal. But because of that email, I felt it was underwhelming personally. So let me know what you guys think. I, I don't feel like I'm overly harsh on too many people unless I feel like you're actually scamming, which I don't think they do at all. And, like, I've bought their product many times before so there's no lack of me buying their product um and sometimes i'm happier with it sometimes i'm not happier with it um but and i'm, I'm sure i'll buy it again i don't think i won't um i might go on a break who knows i might give it another shot here next month i'm at the end of this month and see if i can get anything interesting out of that Alakazam EX. I do believe I needed this card, actually. Ooh, we've gotten three hits out of an ETB. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've done that. Okay. But I'll probably, and I'll probably get it again, and then I'll go on a little break just like I normally do, and then probably get it again. Like, that's just what I do. But then, um, and it's never gotten a vintage pack out of there. And that vintage hollow, I'm pretty sure, I think it was like a $5 hollow, something like that. Or vintage graded card, I'm sorry. There wasn't anything, I think, with it, personally. Um, once again, don't think it's a bad product. I just, sometimes, I think you can get more. And we get the Mew Full Art EX. So we actually did really good on the ZTV. Four hits. It's been a long time since I've had that good of a pull rate on Pokemon 151. All right, guys, that's, so that's going to do it. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Let me know what you guys think of the Poke Power Box. Um, and thanks for Noah for reaching out. I do appreciate it. I know he commented on my video, one of my videos. Um, I actually will have the um, classic Poke Power Box video coming out this weekend, probably tomorrow, as a matter of fact, on Mother's Day. I might actually have two videos coming out on Mother's Day. We'll see if I want to do that. Um, but, yeah, so I just want to thank them for reaching out um, and commenting so I'm sure they watched the video too to see what I said, which I appreciate greatly. And I always like feedback and I like hearing what other people think and everything. So uh, thanks again, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great weekend. Happy Mother's Day to any mothers out there. And I will see you guys next time.